Hi, Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick video to keep you updated about two more features now and new features that Microsoft is testing once again in Edge Canary. And Edge Canary, as many of you may know, is your first of three preview versions of the browser before um, features do make their way down to stable. And you get Canary, Dev, Beta, and then Stable. But as I've mentioned previously, new features being tested in Edge Canary may never see the light of day and may never and make their way down to a stable version. So just take note of that. Now, unfortunately, at this stage, I won't be able to show you the features in real time because I have this nasty bug, as we can see, that is affecting my Edge Canary browser. And this is actually happening on both my devices in both browsers. So this is a Microsoft issue. And um, there's nothing I can do in Edge Canary. It's just a black screen and then in other cases, a white screen. And uh, even if I try to open a private window, no luck, um, nothing happens. So um, clearly a bug on Microsoft's part. And it is common for Canary browsers, especially Microsoft Edge, um, to get these glitches, which can't really be explained from time to time because it is still early days and they are very unstable browsers. So I hope Microsoft fixes this um, sooner than later. And I have actually seen one or two comments on the channel that I'm not the only one affected. Some other users using Edge Canary are also experiencing more or less the same thing. Now, um, just to show you the new features, um, by heading over to um, two um, screenshots uh, provided by Leo over on Reddit, which will give us a general idea as I can't show you them in real time. The first is um, the uh, search box now in the hubs like your favorites hub and other menus now has got the rounded corners so it's received um, rounded corners so obviously Microsoft trying to match the look and feel to a larger extent now by starting to test those rounded corners um, on the search boxes uh, in the actual hubs and this is um, in line with the Project Phoenix as I have been posting on um, over the last couple of months where they are trying to get the browser to match the um, more modern look and feel of Windows 11. And actually, I'll leave a video I did post down below, which I did post um, just a day or so ago, if you would like some more info. Now, um, that's the first. And obviously, this looks very similar to the address bar with the rounded corners. So obviously, tr Microsoft trying to bring a little bit more consistency there. And if we click on the favorites um, hub and menu in the stable version, this is currently what the search box looks like. So we got the old legacy rectangular look. So obviously um, that, as you can see, bringing on a more modern look and feel with the fluent design with the rounded corners. Now this uh, next um, image or actually video clip provided by Leo um, shows us that Microsoft is um, testing, keeping the Bing chat um, button active while in full screen mode. So if we just play this video clip quickly, um, yeah, you'll see the Bing button at the top. And then in full screen mode, you will also have access to be able to um, get to the Bing button in full screen mode, which Microsoft is currently testing. Now, something to take note of from this actual little video clip provided. If I just play that again, although um, they are testing keeping the Bing, uh, the Bing chat button active, as we can see from the video clip provided, it, it is currently inactive because you cannot click on it it's just a grayed out button so obviously it's still early days uh, it is obviously in early days in canary so microsoft obviously planning um to keep the bing chat button active in full screen mode as mentioned which i think for some users um, may find it handy others not because that bing button to some extent or the other as i've posted previously um has caused a little bit of debate in the world of the Microsoft Edge browser. But nonetheless, those are just two new features. Those rounded corners for the search boxes in the um, hubs and the menus. And then uh, testing, keeping the Bing chat button active while in full screen mode. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.